In this video, I'm going to take you through the Muritala Mohammed Airport Terminal 2, the new terminal, the departure lounge, the boarding areas, and as well as the security area and passport controls of this new modern terminal of the Muritala Mohammed Airport. Stay tuned and let's go through this. So, the passport control of the Terminal 2 of the Muritala Mohammed Airport Lagos. This, so this now here is at the uh, terminal two of uh, Muritala here at Lagos. You can now turn the e uh, scanner to use your boarding pass. That's all you need to do. And this, it opens for you. Then you can go access in allowed. So that's the new technology using the scanner. And now into the security area uh, of the passport control. That's it. So we pass through the password control, then next on. So once we pass through the password control, then go to the digital fee at otherwise cleared area and awaiting your flight. This is it. The new uh, terminal two of Muritala Mohammed Airport, Lagos. This terminal two of Muritala Mohammed Airport is newly built and provides a spacious and modern environment, whereas the Huda International Terminal is somewhat aged. But this particular it's been used by a vast majority of international uh, airlines like the EAPs, Qatar Airways, British Airways, Delta Airlines, Lufthansa Airlines, United Airlines, Kenya Airways, Hebom, Uganda Airlines, Turkish Airlines, and African World Airlines, among others. Uh, this is the new Terminal 2, uh, Muritara Mohammed Airport arrival points. And let me quickly take you through how this new uh, terminal Lagos looks like. This is where passengers are arriving the aircraft, are just arriving. And uh, here is a uh, spacious uh, space which gives you an indication of where to go. Uh, baggage reclaim, passport control, transfer. It's a new, newly actually uh, constructed uh, terminal. It's called uh, Muritala Mohammed Terminal 2. Uh, with the gates being identified along the side as passengers are arriving and making use of this new uh, terminal. But uh, really uh, easy for passengers arriving in this uh, new uh, new terminal. But it looks so good. You can target control, evidently showing the arrival for the passengers arriving the new monitor. Uh, airport. If you are here for the first time, you can easily navigate easily at this terminal too. Visa on arrival on the side, all the passports on the side. Uh, Nigeria, I mean resident and Nigerian passport holders come to this side. All the passports on the side, but passengers are asked to stay on as to make it to make a single file. Then the officials are turning to them. Some people do not like to be captured on camera, and some officials actually put up some difficult uh, moments during this experience. Yeah, so, this has forced me to see the awaiting counter. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, this is uh, the password control of the terminal. Moving an official directing them if you are holding. We are holding foreign passports. So where to go? Okay. If you're holding diplomatic passport or official passport, you make use of the side. Nigerian passport on the side, or other passport on the side. This is my real time experience and I have to capture this discreetly. So I'm experiencing the new terminal two for the first time and I'm going to give you a review of how the experience is like. Let's continue. Just pass through the immigration control and the passport control here. 
where person, uh, each and everyone is asked to just check the passport in and the next come to the baggage reclaim, which is very much easier. And uh, if this is the exit when you finish getting your baggage. This is the baggage claim area, the baggage area of the new Moritada Mohammed Terminal 2 airport. So the usual process it goes, you pay to grab a trolley for yourself. So uh, I was told it is it costs 1,006 naira. I asked, why is it that? It used to be, to collect one of these trolleys, it used to be 150 naira. But if you choose to push it by yourself, it's still, the price still remains the same. So they collect 150 naira for you to grab one of these trolleys. I just grabbed mine now. So more passengers are arriving, and um, after exiting the passport control, they come down to the baggage reclaim area. So it's been very swift and very uh, convenient to pass through the border control. So at this new terminal, evidently people are waiting. We we'll see how long it takes to get the baggage out. That is, has to do with the uh, logistics. So let's take a quick look at the surroundings of the baggage area. Baggage claim area, so beautiful. The mass amount of Nigerian um, uh, creativity in display here, with the kind of energy you expect in a city of that uh, country of diversity like this. Yeah. And uh, if you're making transfers over there, you, there's a signage to show the direction to go. So just after I uh, passed through the custom, after collecting the baggage, that baggage area, yeah, and it's so smooth to come down to another open lounge here, which is so the exit, uh, they call it Arava Cocos. All looks so And you get it the other side there, yeah. Arava Exit Concourse yeah, this way. Exit Concourse, car park, taxi, car park. Very new and very cool. And that's the uh, departure. And that's the way up. So let's take a quick look at the departure lounge upstairs, which you can find a whole lot of passengers preparing to check in and get their back weight and also, you know, uh, get their body passes and also sort it before they now go on to passport controls and pass through the security gates before going for boarding in the boarding gates area. Just stay tuned and let's take it down there. So this is the arrival, finally out in the warm temperature of 30 degrees, even at night. And this access to Muritala Mare Airport is a terminal two, as you can see. Um, only that there's no lightning in this side of the passage, but <laughs> all good. The the other this another side of the another wing of it, the terminal two. Uh, another uh, baggage reclaim area right now. Uh, people are waiting to get their baggage from the concourse there. So, a walk through the passage area of the driver towards the a walk into the terminal one. I believe from where we can find a way towards the car park area. So, from the arrival here, take your way down. That's it. Taxi pickup area toilet that side. I need to go down here. Uh, pickup area on that side there. That's it. Exit and pickup area. Taxi. Got someone waiting for me. That's where I'm going to when I was coming in, more documents uh, uh, entry. The departure lounge of the Nimuritala Mohammed here for Terminal 2 is really new, well built environment, which is basically open and welcoming to all passengers. You can easily identify each of the stands where airlines can check in 
and also uh, issue boarding passes. The new Muritala Mohammed Terminal 2 is so beautifully well crafted and provides more attractiveness to the Nigeria, you know, uh, airport. And officials are busy meeting other lineages outside the terminal, and passengers begin to have a very good experience as they can have in any part of the developed world in Lagos. You can get the access to VIP lounge or cargo, um, or also uh, parking information or flight routes no, easily. The same way we can walk through. Also in hand, have uh, sets of uh, offices and shops open underneath the airport where you can get to the bureau the change and some other kiosk which can meet your services i believe this airport uh, actually is been uh, well thought through in order to provide seamless and enjoyable experience for all passengers here we are exploring the underneath the terminal 2 where you can find lots of uh, kiosks and also um, of airlines that can actually meet your uh, services. This meets international standards. So if I want to buy from this terminal, it's a board, part of the boarding area this side. It has uh, facilities, the convenience facilities as well, which I believe uh, is. Um, we up to international standard. So this is the gate five. We are still in Nigeria, and this is uh, the terminal two of the Muritala Mohammed Airport. As you can see, another gate is other side, gate six. Virtually, it's um, well uh, organized uh, with alleyway in the middle. Organized, uh, you know. Uh, I'll say, uh, boarding areas. These are the boarding gate area of the Morita Lamar and Airports. This is just waiting to board. Another gate over there, gate 3. Let's walk into that. That's the one over there. Yeah. Here is uh, part of the boarding gate, gate 5 of Terminal 2. Uh, Muritala Mohammed here post and uh, we are waiting planes out this side. Uh, this time we have the Turkish Airlines and the passengers are waiting to board the plane. This is part of the gate, each of the gates. Uh, upstairs is where passengers have to be checked again for secondary uh, security checks by the airline staff. And then down here we have the boarding, the bags uh, being up uploaded. It's not uploaded into the cabin of the uh, into the uh, the plane. So this is it. Uh, awaiting passengers waiting for the night uh, night uh, very um, flight to uh, Istanbul. I presume at this gate five of the new. Uh, otherwise, I used to call it new terminal two of Muritala Mohammed Airport. So it's time for boarding. Thanks, guys, for watching this video up to this moment. It means we have been taking this journey together. Let's go on board. Please subscribe, share this video, as we may find it educative to all the people as well. Uh, okay, time when you to Oh, before I, before I, yeah. And if the fate Perhaps we are looking for one of a kind, the cultural exhibitions around the world, all traveled and places. Stay tuned to my channel, KB Jojo Newsbox. We are here to give you every vital information, hobbits, interesting places. You know, this is of interest. Tourism and about people, culture, around the world. Stay tuned on this channel. We promise to give you more. It's true. And if the fate should bless us with a moment of reprieve We all could stand together in the silence and just breathe Rejoice for all the happiness, mourn for all the grief It's all around